That'll be slash marker SAP2. And then we'll run it back. Why not? Start a prediction. We're going to go to free to play, okay? We're going to go free to play. Nothing more tragic than going out on a Seth Rogen bid. Uh, it could be worse. You could go out on an Adam Sandler bid. Be a backwards astronaut. How about that? Aldrin Buzz. Aldrin Buzz. Free to play is easy doubt? Come on. That's just, you're just wrong. Stand there in your wrongness and embrace it. Okay, that, you just bodied me with staggered otters. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I think I love it. Now, you know what? Again, people always think I do this just to, like, punish the doubters or the believers. It's not the case. If all of my units are over 2 HP, I take a hedgehog. Because it's, it's so much more likely to fuck the enemy team than me. You're actually so insanely lucky. I'm so mad. I'm so upset. You got the only animal out of that spider that could have given you a chance. Can you believe it? What a damn scam, man. Okay, take one of these then for now. The spider sheep every time, man. the hell? Pay to win bad? Nice try. Yeah, I think Hedgehog is like actually good. I th and I said this last week. I, I would double down on it. I actually think Hedgehog is the best tier 2 unit. We don't need 2 yet. Yet. It's round five. Level me. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. And then we'll roll Rooster Dodo soon, but not yet. But not yet. You called me stupid for saying the Hedgehog was good back in October. I probably did not call you stupid. That's probably how you took it, for one. I probably said something like, imagine being so dumb that you thought the Hedgehog was good. Which is a semantic difference, but a difference nonetheless. I don't think I used the words, you're stupid, if you think this. I probably made an insinuation, would be my expectation. Plus, maybe, I know it hasn't changed at all. But maybe, like, it was worse back then. You ever consider that? Like, maybe it actually was worse? Hold on, what am I going to do with this thing? Okay, I'm just going to be uh, losing, I think. But it'll be fun. We already have three wins. Yeah, my whole squad is ass? How did this happen? Come on. I think we pivoted too much. I, but it's not over yet. It's not even almost over now. Almost over now. You need to stay existing. You need this for now. None of this is sensible. Yeah, this team goes nowhere. Um, maybe that's a way we could bail out here. Hit the, hit the turkey. Oh, son of a bitch. Mm, thank you, at least, thank you. No, we're, this is bad, man. This, this, this is not a pivot, this is a blindfolded lane change. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty true. Check this out, though. What about now? 
Ooh, and you all doubted me. If we win one more round, you guys are all going to be sorry. You guys are all going to be sorry if we win one more round. Pay out the doubters. We'll just pay out the doubters on that one. We just lost to a shrimp with meat on it. The old surf and turf. That hurts. Okay, that was easy doubt. I, I felt like we were on a good line. I just... I. I was trying to jump from rope to rope like Donkey Kong Country and I'm like one of the barrels shot me down instead of up. That's the problem there. Be a domesticated hipster. Huge, huge. We draw these. Horse is the new early game meta. I wouldn't go that far necessarily. I wouldn't necessarily go that far. By the way, I am. If you are channel points broke, I commiserate with you because yesterday I caught the faintest glimpse of Daniel's stream. He was having an absolutely terrible run in Isaac, legendarily bad. And then he ran a bet. Will I get a PB on this run? And I was looking at it like, this is crazy. Everybody's betting that he's going to get a PB. How did this happen? Like, it was 95% yes, he's going to get a PB. 5% no. And I was like, this guy, he can't PB with this. The run is pure ass. So I went all in on he's not going to get a PB. And then I realized that Dan's colors are reversed from mine. So I went all in on him getting a PB. And then I had like 30 seconds left and I was like, I'm gonna try to like revert my bet so that it's, uh, I'm betting on him not getting a PB, but I don't think you can do that. So then I just lost all my points. <laughs> So that, like, I, I commiserate with those of you who are, you know, in a financial bind right now. Now I have, like, less than 500 channel points in Dan's channel. This is insane. Lee good. Believers, you're in great hands right now. I, I say that often, but, like, this time it's actually true. Run a four squad, I don't care. The moral of the story is never go all in. True, but I will say, I think you can go all in um, if you don't get mad if you lose. Like, I'm not mad. I'm like, I didn't even know I had channel points in Dan's channel. So now I'm like, you know, nothing's really changed, to be honest. Yes. Yes. I, I, believers, you're welcome. It's a no fun build to ensure that believers don't cry. Pardon me. I got, you ever get the, the hungry burp? Like I didn't drink a soda or anything and that created a burp for me. There it is right there. It's just like, it's just gas. I guess it's always just gas, but it's just like, just empty gas. It's a strong team, strong team with the penguin. Always has been. You get a badge in the chat to identify ya. You're my subscribers. Thanks for 72 months. Thank you for the gift subs. Thank you for the bitch. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the tips. Come over to my place, baby, you're a wreck. That's an original. I made that up. The melody and everything. Ooh! I mean, ooh! Let's go, my do, baby, do, baby, do. I can hit that note. This, we caught this build before it became a turkey build. And for that, I'll always be grateful. 
Easiest win of my life. But I don't get, like, why they're talking about sunflowers in the song. Because, like... I mean, maybe I'm looking at it, like, too literally. But he's not a sunflower. He's a spider that... He's like a man with spider powers. You know? Like... Should have been like, you know, you're a man spider. I think your web will shoot too much. Like if, if that had been the song, that would have made a lot of sense to me. But instead, it is, there's like a weird metaphor or something. So many minus two. I'm, the, the Friday thread is just going to be all from Monday. Like best bits and worst bits are just going to be... All from Monday. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. Okay, you're stinky. You're uh, anti-badger protection, and I, I support that. Where are sunflower seeds on the snack tier list? Pretty far down. Just going to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, today's Tuesday, not Monday. My bad, my bad. Baby, you're a wreck. I don't care about any of those days. You know, I know today's February the 22nd, 2022, and it's a Tuesday. Whoa, crazy. Wow, this never happens, except it happens fucking every year because it's all just like we draw like an arbitrary distinction on it. Like every year there's like, whoa, there won't be another day like this until like the year 8,888. And you're like, we do it every, every year. There's like three things that never happen again. Can you believe it? There's a palindromic date. That won't happen again for another 93,000 years. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like it just happened next month. Well, can you believe it? We had Friday the 13th on a Monday. Wow, this will never happen again, except for, you know, we'll make up some other thing that's going to happen again instead. Hold on, I'm going sicko mode. Belie believers already won. B -b 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 believers already won, okay? So... Don't cry to me. You sell a level three fish, and then you get a crocodile going insane. You keep the skunk to facilitate the crocodile play. I don't know if this is going to work, okay? Owns, kind of. Kind of owns. A little owns. The slightest bit of owning. Not really. How long has it been since I got a 10 win on stream? I feel like it's been years. Is that is that correct? Could be worse. It could have been years, you know? Like the alien from the Animorphs. You'd be like, whoa. Since the last palindromic day? Are you, are you using ISO 9001 certified? Uh... Date numbering or are you using American style? Because I use American style. <laughs> I think I'm still going to lose this, even though things went as good as they possibly could have gone. All right, well, we still pay out the believers, but I guess a skunk would be too much. Good song, though, right? I don't know if this is controversial. I would say Sunflower by Post Malone, and I think there's another person featured on the track. I don't know really anything about Post Malone, but I think that's a good song. I don't know if anybody else has ever thought this, but I, I'll be the edible baguettes. I also think that um, uh, Into the Spider-Verse, underrated movie. Like, you never hear anybody talking about it. Plus two, plus two. Popular song is good. Yeah, but like, I mean, that's kind of a take. Usually popular songs are not necessarily good. They just happen to be around, you know, in like the grocery store and stuff. I like any song that sounds like it was recorded from like a cassette deck in an abandoned radio shack. And that's what the production on Sunflower sounds like to me. 
Like it it sounds like you're hearing the song from like a car driving by your house. I'm into that. There's something about that. Check this out. Check this out. Boom. Sell me so you can get that early turtle out there. Help. NL, spicy is the only flavor you can feel. Thoughts? I don't think that's... What do you mean by that? What does that mean? How do you think you're sensing other tastes? Minty is cold, but like, why? I'm sure minty is cold, but what do you mean, though? Like, like it, I, I don't get it. Taste is just feeling with your tongue. Game, game. I don't like, I know that this can't be right, but like, why is the snail looking at me? Like its eyes are following me? Chat. I promise. It's not a meme. Genuinely not a meme. It's probably going to take a couple of rounds for my master plan to come to fruition, okay? Get a new PC. <laughs> I'm playing this on my iPad right now. Can't you hear the finger taps? I'm tightening my belt so I can't feel hunger pains. I suggest you do the same. Feed me. Kill me. I won't allow it. So I I love that accent. What is that? That's like a is it like an Arkansas accent? Do I say Arkansas weird? I don't think so. I think it's I think it's how I mean it's spelled weird. That's Dale Gribble? Sound, you sound like Medea? I, one of these days, man, I am going to do March Medea this. I'm not promising that it's going to be like within the next two or three years, but it's going to happen. Just do it this year? No. I don't want to, <laughs> but I, but I love the idea of it. Come on, man. What the hell? You know, for now, this is the play, but then we can run a second giraffe next time. Oh, I would much rather do March Medianist than the Evangelion podcast. Because the thing is, the Evangelion podcast is a good idea that will cause me nothing but pain in its execution once people actually watch the episodes and go like, whoa, listen to this, the most smooth brain take on Shinji I've ever heard in my life. Tell me you've never seen other animes without telling me. But the March Medeanus is like a horrible idea that I think would cause me nothing but joy in its execution. I think that people were like, I would never watch that shit. And then if I did it, they would be like, oh, this is kind of funny. That's, that's, my, that's my guess as to how things would play out. So believers, I, I know I said that like you're in good hands. I don't know what I was, I don't know what I'm doing with this team right now. Um, clever, very clever. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. The math, you can't burn me like that so many times in a row. Okay, well, choose outcome. We'll go no on that one.
F. The garlic would have helped. I do love when the doubters win and they post like a, a gif of dancing though. That's kind of fun. I need some more dance emotes. I'm trying to think of the emotes that I... Ooh, how about a hot cucumber? I'm trying to think of the emotes that I use the most in other chats. I will say if we're doing NL's emote review... Dang, Keck W. I'm just going to say it is not my favorite Keck W. I would definitely rather use regular Keck W over Dang Keck W. Freeze me. I'm going sicko mode. Um, but Dang What is actually really good in my opinion. I think Dan knocked it out of the park with that one. Like, he looks like a guy going like, what? <laughs> Oops, we won. Yeah, like, he looks disgusted. I think it's pretty good. Dang, what's pretty good? Okay, I think... Honestly, he gets sold. Get sold. Get bought. Don't hit the ants. L lovely. That's beautiful. Get bought. Get ready to get pilled. What the heck? I think you should freeze two pills here and hope a turtle shows up soon. Ooh. This is weird, but I think it can do something. That's a good... Malv, Malv smiles a good emote. I think it's time to admit though that we've like we've lost the emote war like partners will never be able to compete with better twitch tv and that's okay i think it's like a false dilemma that you know you should be trying to compete as a partner with an infinite amount of custom emojis essentially and i think it's time to get with the times and just add as many bttv emotes as feel appropriate as you can i think i think that's the ticket man Give me a rat. I'll go rat mode. Add wide people high? No, I'm not gonna add wide people high. It's not a culture fit, okay? It's, it's, it's not an appropriate emote for me or for the way I wanna raise my family or for the way I treat my body. So I'm not gonna add wide people high. Now, I will use wide people high every time it's appropriate, but I will not add it. Giraffe. Nope. Good animals. How about that? Sell me. Purchase me. Now we're freaking talking. We got... This is the first good run I've had all day. All the other runs, the shop screwed me. Now we got early scaling. I think we should actually move the otter to the front. What a world. Do you think IRL a pair hits like two apples? No, not at all. Like, I wish that it did. I'm a noted pair enjoyer. Well played, well played. But, I don't know. I, I mean, if you gave me the choice between an apple or two pears, or a, two apples or a pear, I would take the two apples any day of the week. If you gave me a choice between a pear and an apple... To be honest with you, I'd probably take the pear. I probably would take the pear. A soft green pear where the juice dribbles down your chin. Oh, man. That's, that's one of nature's great pleasures. You know what annoys me is that people, like, really hate a pear. They think pears are just bark. But, like, they love peaches, and they exist on the same spectrum of potential cursedness like a peach when it's ripe is fantastic if you eat it a day early you're gonna like cut your gums up and like uh, your, your teeth are gonna hurt but the peach gets all the credit and the pear gets all the all the disrespect for reasons unbeknownst that's huge no thank you yes thank you Little garlic armor, we're off to the races, man. We're off to the fucking races.
There are some foods in the grocery store, though, where I'm like, we gotta stop making so many of these. There's two... I like celery. Why is there so much celery in the grocery store? Nobody's eating that much celery in the modern era. Is real cheap? It It is real cheap. I wouldn't deny the cheapness. You need it for soups? But yeah, but like, there's like more... The, the celery section and the carrot section have like an equivalent quantity. You can't tell me, at least in like North America, that carrots aren't being used like at least 5x versus celery. And I'm a, I'm a soup maker. Like, I'll make a soup, man. Let's go. I know you watched one Bon Appetit video before they got canceled. You think you're the only person in the chat who knows what a mirepoix is. I knew what a mirepoix was in Web 1.0, okay? You're not that special. I'm just saying, like, realistically, the carrots are being used much more frequently. I would have to guess. I would have to guess. Roll me, please. Also, who TF needs the entire tub of spinach? Dude, I'm telling you, I'm going off now. This is so good. We got to talk about lettuce, man. I am a noted lettuce uh, enjoyer of all varieties. We got to start selling that shit by the leaf. Obviously, if you're making a salad, you don't want like two leaves of lettuce. But you, you, oh, you're going to hate this because we're going straight back to the burger farm. But like when you're making burgers, you got to have like some leafy greens. But you might, you might not want to buy an entire head of lettuce just to get a couple leafy greens or like a whole bag. So then just because you want lettuce on your burger, you got to have like three salads throughout the rest of the week. That's too much commitment, man. Okay, by the way, believers win, and we're looking good. I don't even think... I think we just ride this into the sunset. I, I'm not 100% confident it's going to get there, but I think it could. I just throw the rest away. I don't even care. I think that's what most people do, but I give you respect because most people would not tell you that that's what they do. Most people would be like, oh, did you know uh, Americans throw out... 22% of the food they buy at the grocery store? I want to see your fridge! Just because you haven't thrown it out yet doesn't mean that shit hasn't gone bad. You're like, I never throw out food. Instead, I just let 60% of a bag of spinach sit at the bottom of my vegetable crisper for 10 years until I move, and then it's just green goo. I'm not like other people. I don't throw food in the garbage can. I leave it in my fridge to rot. It's disgusting, man. It makes me sick. Oh, that's good stuff. That is that is good stuff right there. Oh, oh, we don't need that. Owned? So owned? I think I, this is how you have to do it. This is how you have to play the game if you want to get to 10 wins. You want banter. This is like the ultimate be careful what you wish for. You do not even want to address the inequality of the burger versus bun count. I assembled a barbecue this weekend and I decided like... I, I basically went 1984 would I bought an eight pack of buns and then I bought four beef patties and four Beyond patties and I put the Beyond patties in the freezer. We have always been at war with Eurasia. Slavery is freedom. Innocence is peace. I don't see how fucked this is. 
I, I've, eventually they got me. I finally wanted to get. Uh, I finally wanted to get burgers. I had to do it on their terms. They got me. We don't need a level three. Oh, but what if we don't have a level three giraffe? Won't the buns go moldy? No, I'm just gonna eat like a lot of burgers. I'm gonna eat like eight hamburgers this week. I'll figure out a way to fit it in. <laughs> Extra Peloton time. Don't even get me started, man. You guys been running that lane break? I almost Peloton posted on Twitter. I was almost like, you know. I don't know if anyone follows me for Peloton posting, but you should really try the new lane break mode. It's a lot of fun. You Because there's less programmable rest, you actually get a higher output, but it feels like you didn't actually work that hard. Come on, come on. It is 10 wins, man. Too easy. Well, do you see how fast this, these particles are popping here? Choose prediction. Choose outcome. We did get six wins or more. Yes. Place me back. Server's a little low today. This might be our last one. We'll see. I've been having a good time, though. Whenever a guy on a dating app tells me he has a Peloton, I just think he's pretentious AF. I mean, I think that's fair. Like, I mean, why on your dating profile do you have your Peloton? That's be yeah, an extra, extra puppy. That's like, I don't think you're pretentious for riding a Peloton. It's just one of the many tools you could use in your exercise toolbox. But to place it into your profile is a, a little, like as a defining element of your humanity is a little surprising. Rowing machine is where it's at. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Frank Underwood to the chat. Former uh, congressional whip Frank Underwood. Noted PSP enjoyer. The FBI, get him. Get him. I haven't seen anything on House of Cards of past season one, and I don't watch the news. So welcome Frank Underwood. Big fan. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Kevin who? Okay, take two losses. That's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, Eminem in the way! Oh, man. The servers, man. Yes. This looks very familiar. But we didn't 10 win the, the one with this, right? Did we, didn't we lose that one badly? Didn't we get destroyed? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eminem and Lil Way. Oh, man. Because you took... Ah, oh, that's right, I took a hedgehog. I took Hedgehog last time I ran this. Okay, well, we'll never do that again. And that's where the game does me a huge solid. And it's uh, Hedgehog in the shop. No Hedgehog in the shop. Okay, no comedic timing. I love Patrick Stewart introducing Salt and Pepper. Ladies and gentlemen, Salt and Pepper! That's a good one. That's That's a classic. I wouldn't... I would put that in the classic one, for sure. I mean, I, there's a lot of great ones, man. Ladies and gentlemen, John Meyer! I don't know Elijah Wood introduces Jet. That's, but that is definitely the mid-2000s in a nutshell. Elijah Wood introducing Jet on Saturday Night Live. Okay, the ox is too good not to take. Sell me. 
Place me. Feed me. Take that. That makes you a little bit more useful in Temporarium. Bro, I saw a, a, a... I apologize. I don't know why it's... What is that? Dodo in the front? I don't know why it's always Toyota Tacomas. I forgot, though. I was picking my daughter up from daycare. I saw a lifted Toyota Tacoma that had the quote from... Uh, I mean, it's just a Latin quote. But it's the title of John Wick 3. It was like, if you want peace, prepare for war. It was like, you know, Requiescat in Pache Parabellum or something on it. It's like, what the hell? You, it's a truck, dude. Yeah, see this possum. Parabellum. Shit was driving me crazy. I don't want to drive behind that guy. I want peace. He's preparing for war. We're not the same. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm sick. He plural us Jimmy. <laughs> oh man. I did watch some Seinfeld this weekend. I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you to judge me, but I did watch some Seinfeld this week. I'm almost done. I'm almost done season nine. I think I ran out of good shows to watch, so I went back to Seinfeld. You know, I'm going in, man. I'm going in on a penguin yet again. You get out of here and then level me. Like, this dodo is not going anywhere. Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Take that. Okay. Yeah. Another? You know what? Not you. You. Next round, I would sell a beaver to get a buffalo out there. Watch anime? Who do you think I am? Squeaks? We have now set out the, the Squeaks alarm in the chat to see if Squeaks is here. If he is here, please respond, Hey, what the hell? Catching strays? Confirm not here. Okay, okay. That's fine. No offense taken. Feed me. Feed me. Come on. Give me some more level twos. Level twos. Level twos. Level twos. Chocolate. Level twos. Level twos. Level twos. You should not be at the front. I don't know what I was thinking. Believers. Yeah, now... It, I, I, I love when I talk semi-shit about somebody and then they're in chat and they say, what the hell? Because you're right. If you talk shit about somebody and they're not here, it is kind of like you're talking behind their back and that makes you a hater. I don't want to be a hater. Well, I am in my hater era, that's true. I have been saying a lot of things are ass for like two or three months. I'm in, man. I'm going in. Look at this double scaling all the way across the sky. Pure detritus, that's true. They do call things anus. <laughs> it's been known to happen been suggested i'm good at the game again or did i just get a penguin hey i brought you a new team is it a new team or is it penguin again penguin again hmm hmm by the way donnie darko great movie An another great example of a movie that is pretentious but also great we were trying to come up with examples of that last week. Go for a level three badge. Oh my God, you're so right. I bet I've never had a level three ox victory. I've totally had a level three buffalo though. Bison? How do you rate interstellar? I think Interstellar is a... I, you, you need a little bit of a preamble here, okay? This is the easiest run of all time as well. So I'm, I'm loving that. But 
I think that I am not one of those people who is like, a good movie is ruined by its ending. There have been maybe like a handful of times. But for the most part, I think I evaluate a movie as like more than the sum of its parts. Because this also comes up all the time in Hereditary. Now, I actually love the ending of Hereditary almost because it's like a, a hilarious tonal shift. Hold on, we gotta check. Like the whole movie is like very kind of cryptic and then at the end they they give you like five seconds, like a, a 25 second sentence, which is just like, here's exactly what happened. I was like, man, I love that shit. But I know for a lot of people, they're like the, the exposition at the ending ruined it for me. Um, I'm like, I thought it was kind of like a stylistic choice and I enjoyed it. But I, uh, I like Interstellar. I think it's a great movie. The ending is a little funny, a little implausible, obviously. But, uh, but I enjoy the movie throughout. Okay, hold on. We're looking for Ox. Has it. Buff bison? Bison has it. Okay, that's a problem. Dodo? Oh my god, the servers. Dodo has it. Yeah. I'm too good at the game. I've got them all. Well, let's focus on just getting to 10 then. Then we can talk. Whiplash or La La Land? I think I have a controversial take, which is don't make me choose. Saved. I feel like the vast majority of people, especially in my demographic, are going to be like, it's Whiplash 100%. It might be Whiplash for me too. But I'm like, I'm in don't make me choose territory, I think. Like, I think La La Land is, is also a goaded movie. Whiplash is hot trash? What the hell? That's probably like the most popular movie amongst like 24 to 32 year olds. It's like the Zoomer Fight Club, man. Well played. Well played. Honestly, though, I need to read like a, a whiplash ending explains uh, synopsis, though. Because, like, the whole time throughout the movie, I was waiting for them to solve the mystery of whether he was rushing or dragging. And then, like, I was like, okay, is the end of the movie, they're finally going to be like, was he rushing or was he dragging? And then he just spins a top. And the shit just keeps spinning. And it's about to like... It looks like it might be teetering a little bit. And then it fades to black. And it's like directed by Christopher Nolan. And I'm like, what was that? Oh! We were in the theater going, oh! What the hell? What the otter doing, by the way? Yeah, and then they're like... Michael Caine, thanks to Michael Caine's phone call, Leonardo DiCaprio was captured by the police. He was sentenced to a mental asylum and released in 2012. Hey, 10 wins. <laughs> Chandler. <laughs> Let's run one more. I mean, that was, it was so easy. You gotta run one more after that. Burp, 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 burp. Yes. Oh, you know what I did watch this weekend? I should have talked about this earlier. Over the course of two days, I watched the Boots Riley film, Sorry to Bother You. Now, that's a movie, man. Be a broken baguette. That is a great movie. I couldn't believe I hadn't seen it hither to this point. Also, it's a little bit different now that I know that, like, maybe Army Hammer is, like, a legitimate uh, <laughs> cannibal. <laughs> I think that movie hits a little different in 2022 after that 
surprising revelation. Uh, as soon as that guy walked onto the screen, I was like, this guy is a bad, he's a bad dude. Yes. Yes. Sorry, what? He might not eat people, but he did send a bunch of texts that were like, I literally eat people amongst other things. So you could just Google like army hammer and see what comes up. Because I didn't think, like, the eating people stuff was not even, like, the worst of it, really. All I get is the the baking soda. That's it, that's fair, but you got to take out the ampersand. If you take out the ampersand, you'll be okay. I'm tying in my belt so I can't feel ampersand. I suggest you do the same. This is a good hedgehog build, don't laugh at me. What did I tell you? I didn't watch Troll 2, it's just a great it's just a great line. I think you're gonna level up. Give me one of these. Give me one of these. We're we're preparing for garlic. Garlic is our next step. Troll 2 is, yeah, it's insanely bad. Definitely one of the worst movies ever made. But, you know, with, with some reverence as a result of that. Okay, Ox is like too good to not take, so goodbye. This will work. Okay, like, we're on perfect, okay? We're on perfect. Could we sell an 11-6 mosquito to make this work? <laughs> it's just solid monkey ass, monkey ass. I thought you didn't watch it. How do you know it's bad? I've seen Troll 2 probably, I bet I've seen it 15 times. That's my guess. I don't just know the viral clips from Troll 2. I know, like, the whole damn... I even watched the movie about the making of the movie. It's called, like, Best Worst Movie or something like that. The, the father from the movie is now, like, a dentist who, who loves that he was in the movie. Like, he gets that the movie is not good, but he finds it funny. If I remember correctly, though, the director of the film, on the other hand, it, it has harbored a grudge for, like you know, 35 years that actually, like, the movie is a misunderstood masterpiece. Oh, yeah, this is doing numbers. No, not Trolls 2. Troll 2. Trolls 2, also known as Trolls World Tour, is really, really good. I think it stars Katy Perry as Trollina, I'm oh, sorry, Derpina. Don't laugh at me. This is this round might not work, but after that, it's going to pop. Yes, yes, yes. Kill, kill the honey badger. Kill the ox. No, it lived. What the hell, dude? No! Okay, it's still gonna pop. It just needs one more round to get there. Just needs one of these. Probably one of these. That's it, though. Now is good, man. Now is it's sorted. Round eight, this looks good. This looks fine, man. Pay out the doubters on that one. I, you were on perfect. <laughs> I was on perfect, wasn't I? 
Anyway, um, that's a great run to 